Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Happy birthday. Yes, my mom. Uh, today. Today's your yesterday. mother's birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, yes. yesterday. Good. Yesterday. Your, your mother. Uh, is that 19 or 79? Seven, 79. 79. Wow. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right. So I so your um so your weekend was your mother's birthday. Good. What about you, Jonathan? Yes. Hello, Allison. Hello, Bert. Wow, nobody's talking today. Hey, there's Bert. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How was your day? How was your weekend? Mm, I mean, the weekend was awesome. And I, I work and what I said, I mean, this is, I had a ton of great some code and it's working, it's a great. And, right. but today was um, maybe because I've been working in the, I work on the weekend. I really a little tired because I was, I was busy today, but it was, I feel a little tired because I've been working Sunday and Saturday, but it was good. It was, it okay. worked. Very hey, good. All right. How's San Miguel? Is it raining? No, it's not raining. Right now it's really hot. This is, uh, I mean, it seems to, it's going to rain, but it doesn't rain. <laughs> it doesn't rain. Okay. So hilarious. Yeah, it's just so sad at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Jonathan, Dennis, or Allison, are you guys there? Oh, okay. Allison, give me some minutes. Okay, no problem. Jonathan or Dennis, are you there? Uh, hello, class. Hello, teacher. Yes, here I am. What's up, Dennis? How are you? Everything good. How was your weekend? Nice. It's, it was good. Actually, I used to just stay at home all the weekend. Yesterday was raining here. So I just took some time to watch a few movies. So it was good. Oh, good. When you said it was raining here, where do you live? Uh, San Martin. Oh, yeah, San Martin. Yep. Actually, on Saturday it was raining also. Yeah, well, I think it rained everywhere on Saturday, finally. Yeah, yeah. It seems like, like we are in winter already. Yeah. Okay, let me see who else is here. Who else is here? Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Claudia, Maria, how are you? Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening, how was your weekend? It was very busy. What did you do? Uh, we are, well, the celebration of Father's Day. We oh, have yeah. breakfast, water, mm -hmm. and I finished some issues in my house, some quehaceres. Uh, do chores. 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 
Yeah, but remember when you say issue, issue is is a problem. Like a thing. Ah, okay. But it, it, it well, doesn't necessarily have to be a big problem. It's just a problem. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Mm, okay, And cool. on in mm -hmm. Sunday, I went to the supermarket, to the market uh, to buy some things. Uh, so many things. <laughs> and you live with your uh, father, correct? Or you live me? you live alone or with your father? I live with my father and in a few days, few weeks, my boyfriend is moving in. Oh, oh, so you do have a boyfriend? Yes, yes, I have. Oh, okay. So so your boyfriend's gonna that, move in with you. Yes. And my dog, my two dogs, and his cat, and my dad. So it's very busy. <laughs> and does your father like your boyfriend? Yeah. I if I am not if I am not here, then they get along so nice. Oh good. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's mm -hmm. very important. All right. Nice yes. thing. All right. Okay, Jonathan, how are you? Are you there? Mm. I'm fine. Do you have a microphone? I imagine you don't. Okay. So I don't I cannot use a microphone today. Okay, is Allison back? I am teacher. Sorry. All right. That's okay. How are you, Allison? How was your weekend? Uh really fine because on Saturday we went to lunch with my father in law and then uh, have dinner with my father. Okay. And yesterday we stressed almost all day, but we went on my parents' house. You went to your parents' house? Uh, we were, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. We were. <laughs> so you celebrated your father in law's and your father's birthday? Yes. Uh, day. You celebrated the two fathers, your boyfriend's, I'm sorry, your husband's father and your father. Yes. Okay. You know, really, 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 if you have a father and a mother, it's like, man, this was my first Father's Day with no father. And... um I really miss him. And you never realize how important because when it was when he was alive, it was a normal Father's Day. Like I would call him hey, onda, viejo? Felicidades. Comer algo? No, okay, bye. But that's how my father was. But we always were together. But now that he died, so we never celebrated because my father was very like, ah, nah. You know. But now that um, this was really my first Father's Day with no father, I felt strange. So I'm happy that you still have your father. You should cherish that moment forever. Hey, I'm so sorry to hear that, teacher. Actually, oh, sometimes you. I try to imagine uh, what you are telling us because I do have my, my father. He's still alive, but sometimes... Actually, my father's my father's brother uh, passed away like uh, seven months ago. Your so uncle. I saw my my uncle. Yeah. So I I saw my cousin. He was I don't know. He was he he looks strong, but mm -hmm. at the end when we went to the to the graveyard, so he just 
start crying and it was and I start thinking right uh, how do moment. you feel when you know that he's not gonna be any longer there with you so yeah and that's me because I, I don't celebrate the father's day so sometimes I just tell hey what's up dad so what are we going today so stuff like that but nothing in the special but yeah now that you mentioned this uh, myself I sometimes I think what's gonna happen when when he's no longer there so how, how am I going to feel about it so yeah you know you know what I, what I can tell you is that there are two feelings that happen two feelings you feel mm -hmm. you cry for two reasons one the obvious because you miss him mm -hmm. and and you love him very much right yeah and the second feeling is because you felt bad because you were not a very good son. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not saying you. I'm saying in general. So there's no, no, two, yeah. yeah. There's I two feelings. You. There's two feelings that you get because I felt bad because at the end of my, like for example, my father, the last year I was more the one that would always be um regañándolo, like hey papa you always do this hey you know he I, I was more like the father he was like the little kid but we had a great relation but i was yeah. very angry with him all the time i was an angry person <laughs> it was funny but i felt bad so i i had those two feelings and you know there's one i mean the obvious one is like that's kind of, everyone's gonna have that like oh man i miss him and i love him Oh, yeah, but yeah. then there's the one that when you really feel bad because of what you did. I mean, I was, I, 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 we had a good, you know, I just felt bad, you know, like, I'm sorry that I was so angry with you at the end. Mm -hmm. But, it, there, you know, one thing also that there's no, there's no medicine, there's no song, there's no cure. The only, the only thing that can help you is time. And you have yeah. to be friends with time because I really hate funerals. I really hate funerals. It happened with my mother. It happened with my father. Everybody says, <laughs> Bert, everybody says La Tipica. Oh, now he's an angel with God. Like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, he's, there's a party in heaven. Like, oh, you know, thank you. But yeah, you hear that a hundred times at night. You know, yeah. you know, so, so I remember that day, um, I don't know, I, I just didn't want to be with people. I, I put on some, I put on some, you know, and I pretended to be asleep. I didn't want to talk to anyone because everybody was saying the same thing. Hey, if you need anything, call me, blah, 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 blah. A lot of hypocrisy. Yeah. The, this is my personal opinion, but myself. I don't understand what is the reason. I know uh, there is a lot of people that want to say the last goodbye, but for me, it doesn't make sense to to take somebody that has died to keep him there in a room or I don't know if in English there is a word that to say uh, velar, velar. Yes, it's awake. Wake, like okay. wake up, it's awake. Wake, okay. For me, there is no reason. So if you want to say goodbye and stuff like that, okay, just go to the graveyard and take him there. Yeah. You know, a few, like a couple of hours. Myself, I, I don't like that. No, I don't you, either. I, I, I don't like to go. It may be my, my grandma. Actually, I didn't go there. My grandma passed away like five years ago, but, but I didn't go. I just went to the graveyard. Okay, say goodbye. I'm going to miss you and that's it, but I don't like... Uh, you know what, wait. like, because it's a tradition that sometimes people don't know why they do it. But you know one thing? You're right. Mm -hmm. In the United States, people do that now. There's no way people just reunite at somebody's house and they celebrate that person's life. So oh. instead of being sad, you just, it's it's a happy thing. You start telling funny yeah. things like I remember one time, remember I liked your father because one time he told me, you know, so you just celebrate his life. And then yeah. the funeral is just with the family. 
and that's how I wanted it to be. But, you know, he was married. His wife was um, evangelist and she wanted the, the screaming people and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's a stupid. Yeah. That's why I, I need my son to grow up because when I die, <laughs> I I want to give him conditions like, look, no religion in my, in my thing. <laughs> Just, just bury me, but it promised me I want, I, I want a contract. <laughs> That's curious because I am, I, I, I think the same way. Like you, I don't wanna, uh, I don't know, uh, how do you say the misa or stuff like that or un culto. I don't yeah. want that. But you know, And, you know, when you die, it's a very expensive. Yeah. Oh man. Like my mother, when she died, I was her caregiver. Do you understand what caregiver is? Yeah, somebody that take care of, uh, yes. like a nana now. So I, I was the one responsible for her. So my mom, she died in the hospital. And oh, uh, oh man, it, it was terrible when she died. Do you remember like seven years ago, the babies that they exchanged? There was a news that. They exchanged some babies in El Pediatrico. No. Nope. Yeah, that, you know, this, this okay, you, you don't remember that news? It was like seven years ago. Oh, it, but it was not in El Ginecologico. Yes, in El Ginecologico. Yeah, Thank you. I remember that. That they exchanged babies, and one year later, hey, this is not my baby, it's your baby. But it was a lie. I mean, they those people are arrested now. So. Really? Yeah, so my mother died during that. During that um that 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 mass. So okay, so it, it was strange because I went to the hospital and she, hey, your mom is dead. And wow. You you you're like in shock, what? And then everybody starts talking to you about your mom in past. Hmm. It's like Hoy no es quién está encargado, quién estaba encargado, who was in charge, qué quería ella, you know, and then everybody talks to you in past and you speak in present. So <laughs> the the problem was that, listen to this, this was sad. She died in Amatepec, right, in the Seguro Social, do you know where Amatepec is? Yeah, yeah, it's so in then, front. Uh, so they were making the citrans in that time. So mm -hmm. I went to the morgue, to the morgue to recognize her. Mm. And you imagine like the movies, you know, like they pull and then, you know, they, they take the blanket. Is this your mother? Yes. That's how you imagine. No, they open it and she was in a garbage bag. They put them in a bag, you know, those black garbage bags. Mm -hmm. And then they opened, they just ripped it. Whoosh. Sad. Oh, but wait, is this your mother? Yes. And I was okay. And when I was calling me, he said, no, 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 no. You have to stay here. Why? I had to stay there and sign when the funeral car came. La funeraria. Mm -hmm. So when they take her out from the morgue to the car, I have to be present and sign. The problem was that, like I said, that day they were making the citrams. The, the funeral car took like two hours. Oh. I, was, I was with my dead mother in the morgue for two hours and like 10 more other dead people. That was ugly, man. <laughs> yeah I I couldn't believe it no hey, I don't want to be here please really no you have to be here so that was ugly yeah. Yeah. No, and what I'm saying is expensive because you have to pay a lot of taxes su mamá nació en esta ciudad murió en esta ciudad pero vivía en esta ciudad you have to go to all those alcaldías to get the permit it's, really? yes it's really I didn't right. know that yes mm -hmm. But but so that's why I recommend you to um 
eh, bueno, mi mamá ya había, ya había pagado la funeraria, y you no know, todos lo, los, ¿cómo se llama eso? Los trámites. So, they do that for you. So, that's something good. <laughs> Imagine you, I had to go to Santa Ana, to the Alcaldía of Santa Ana, the one to Soyapango, and the one to Suchitoto. Like, hi, yes, my mother died, ¿cuánto le debo? You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So, so, I really recommend you, si tienen padres o familiares ya, Advanced, paguen la, la funeraria. They do everything. They do everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was very good. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, there, there's many different types of funerals. But I, I, I think I like that one, the, the one in the United States. It's not a, it's a celebration. It's not like a mourn. Here in El Salvador is todo. Yeah, and actually the United States way makes more sense than than here in El Salvador. So yeah, I don't know. It, it's better to be. I, I know that the the pain is gonna be there, but why are you gonna be sad? So you know what would be very cool? Imagine uh -huh. to cremate somebody. Like imagine uh -huh. I I would have cremated my father. Go in my case, excuse me. In my case, I pay for a service that includes cream. cream really, is that mm -hmm. expensive? No, really. I, I it depends of of the company. Yeah, but, I think. But could you could but, you but it, could it, you give it, us a number? I would like to yes. do that. Yes, yes, of course. I would like to. How much? Uh, in la auxiliadora. Mm -hmm. it, it's a plan when uh, you pay four dollars per person mm -hmm. uh, and includes the cremation or the typical way. Wait, wait, wait. Four dollars? I'm sorry, I heard four dollars. Yes. No, but I guess yes. that, that's the plan. But that's the plan for how long, yes. I guess. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it isn't in a period of time so if you die the next year you pay only four dollars for one year if you die i mean you pay from now until you die oh that's interesting not, four dollars that's not a contract for 10 It's years like for four dollars yes four dollars i pay uh, eight dollars for my father and for me Hey, that's so nice. cool. That's hey, you know, mm -hmm. thank you for telling me that. Mm -hmm. I did not know that because my mother, she already had paid everything. So my mother paid everything. I think she was ready to die like 30 years ago. I paid everything. When I die, don't pay anything. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but oh, okay, hey, that's very interesting. But but I'm sorry, uh Claudia, you you were telling us that, right? Yes. Okay, I have a question. In your mm -hmm. case. If you if you if you are planning to be cremated, is that mm -hmm. correct? Uh, um, how would you like to, to your funeral? Ah, uh, it's an interesting question because I I am a Buddhist Buddhist Buddhist. Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting. So in my in the in that religion, we don't have the regular. Uh, how do you say funeral? Funeral. Well, I mean, it's, it's the same, but we practice. It's more happy than sad? Uh, yes, but uh, how I can I explain it? You feel sad, but you can never feel sad forever, forever, forever. So <laughs> it's the moment, yes, but we practice, se llama la impermanencia. Uh, es decir, todo se acaba y ni modo, así es la vida. Very interesting. I like that. But it's a practice. Do you know that in Mexico, sometimes they take mariachis and comedians? It's a tradition de contar chistes. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. But you know what would be cool too? Like, if I had the option, I would like to cremate my father, 
go to a, a go and plant a tree with my father's ashes. Nice. You know, and you know, mix mix my father's ashes with the tree, and I will see that tree grow someday. <laughs> so, but is but but I wonder something because I would like to be uh, how do you say and uh, yeah. Mm. Ashes, you say ashes, right? Las cenizas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ashes. I would like my ashes to be at my home, right? Plant a tree in but, your home. Yeah, but is is that legal? I I, I know uh, maybe the people yes. is gonna wonder is gonna wonder that, but is that legal? Well, the yes. ashes are yours. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. nice. You can do with your ashes whatever you want. Oh, nice. A friend, a friend died in, uh, last year, and her ashes are in his in her house mm -hmm. in uh, Maceta. Hey, mm. nice. With a lemon tree or something like that. Ooh. Okay, there you go. Good. You Ooh. see, there's many things. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take note. I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you you never know when it's gonna happen. So and donate your organs. That's important. Yeah. I, I will. I, I, I hope that people use my organs. <clears throat> okay, so listen, do you see the 4.0 lesson objective? Reduce relative clauses. What is that? We don't know. So let's see the video to see what this is. Let me share video, share sound. A person who or that has a good voice could be a... Hello, do you remember about relative pronouns? Who, which, that? Good for you, you still remember. Now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be someone who, that is, able to think quickly, might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, looking for adventure could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. Someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz musician. In many relative clauses, who or that has can be replaced by with. A person who or that has a good voice could be a good TV journalist. A person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist. Once a relative clause is reduced, it becomes an adjective phrase. It is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase. A person, noun phrase, working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas. Complete these sentences using relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Okay, so listen, shorten the relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun. The relative pronoun is I, he, she, we, they would. Okay? So someone, a person, or we can say a man or a woman. For example, listen, a woman who... Who works wait let me see how can I say this a woman who works and is a mother is a strong person Someone who works and studies 
is a very responsible person. Yes? Can you give me an example of a person who a person who speaks four languages? How would you finish that? Call center people. A person who speaks four languages. A person who speaks four languages is considered polyglot. Very good. In El Salvador, a person who speaks four languages is an automatic uh, general manager or account manager in a call center. I mean, I've seen other people who have that role, but they are just friends of people who are oh yeah in charge so i so, wouldn't so agree. if we speak if we speak if, if we're speaking about call centers a very beautiful woman can be a supervisor in one month in a call center no mm, i would say it would take her uh, over 3 months maybe they they would try to to dissimular how can i say that to play it. To play it. Play, play. it. Play it. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay. Oh, okay, listen. Yeah, give it Bert. A person who is from San Miguel doesn't sweat. <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm they sweat. I'm sweating right now. Yeah, but I'm not... I'm sweating not... right now. <laughs> yes, but not, not like it's somebody... Like, like somebody from San Salvador that goes to San Miguel for the first time, you see their shirt wet. Like their shirt wet, everything is wet. Somebody from San Miguel, they're just hot. <laughs> but the, the person from San Salvador is dying. <laughs> Claudia, Hiron, can you give me an example, please? Someone who, a person who, a man who, a boy who. Allison, give me an example, please. Mm. A person who take care of, of their parents is a good person. Yeah, very good. Angelica Lasso, can you give me an example? Um, I'm thinking, uh, someone who is good with animals, it couldn't be a bad person. Okay, good. Someone who is good with animals couldn't be a bad person. But could be a psychopath. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Angela, give me an example, please. Mm. A person who is exercise is healthy? No. No. <laughs> A person who... Okay, wait, dies. Angela. No, listen. I want you to listen to what you said. You said, a, listen to this, a person who is angry, a person who is, no, no, wait, wait, listen, listen, so you can relate. My mm -hmm. example, a person who is from San Miguel, a person who is hot, a person who is tall, a person who likes. ¿Qué tiene en común eso? Or, um, Adjectives. Uh, yes. Now you said a person who is exercise. Yes. ¿Qué yes. dijo? Una persona que hace ejercicio. No dijo eso. No, usted dijo una persona que es ejercicio. Ah, uh, yes. It's uh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Doing. Exactly. Good. So uh, this is the correct. No, but very good, Angela. So the correct way is a person who exercises. 
exercises. Mm -hmm. Is a healthy. Is healthy. Very good. Yes. So okay. remember, exercise is a verb. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a person who goes, a person who eats, a person who buys, a person who exercises is a healthy person. Very good. Nice. Okay. Denia, are you there? Yes. Hi. Hi. Give me an example, please. Um, a person who laughs and for feeling that someone else was considered girl. I don't know. If I'm sorry. Can you repeat what you said? A person who laughing or yes, a person who laughing for the feeling for other person is considered bad person. Oh, I don't know if it's good. A person who laughs at other people. The feeling for other people. Or I'm the... so... Wait, wait, I'm sorry. A, a person who laughs. For the feeling. Wait, no. For... Can... Wait, wait, no. wait. Daniel, hold on. Está metiendo muchos yes. for that. Pero... Key... Yes. <laughs> I understand what you're uh, saying. So, a person who laughs at laugh. other people's feelings. Okay. A Repeat. person who laughs for no, lleva feeling. For. Okay, uh, Denia, no. Denia, no diga for, uh -huh. para nada. En toda la oración no diga for. Uh, okay, so listen. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. A person who laughs at other people's feelings. A person who laughs for uh, uh, a person who laughs the feeling the other people mm -hmm. is considered a bad person. Good. Okay, women, what you finished the sentence. A man who says I am only with my wife for the kids. Red flag. <laughs> liar. It's a liar. <laughs> Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a typical, I am only with my wife for the kids, but I don't love her. And a woman who believes that is, is? Naive. Is what? Naive. Is naive. Very good. You naive. Pensando... Naive. Naive, okay. You start pensando un adjetivo un poco más grosero, pero hey, that's good, naive. <laughs> so listen. A man who says, I am only with my wife for the children, is a liar. But a woman who believes, a man who says that, is very naive. <laughs> Teacher, I, did, I didn't understand the two words, believes and naives. What believe. is that? Do you believe in UFOs? Believe. Yeah. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in the devil? Ah, oh, ah. Oh, believe, you. right? Okay, believe. Correct. Okay. Naive. Do you know what naive is? Naive. It's N-A-I-B-E. Here, here, let me spell it. Yes. It is can like you that. write it, please, teacher? Because I did. Oh, Rona, can you write that word? Because I heard Najib. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding, but this sounds like similar. It does. Oh. Naive. Rona is naive. Got you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Naive. Sorry. What, Sorry. What, is, what... what is naive? <laughs> It's a fool. 
<laughs> no, it's not a fool. It's, yeah. Well, yes. It's like an innocent person. It's an innocent fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what was the example? I'm sorry. Yo I couldn't se, get. Yo, yo creo que se comieron a Jonathan. <laughs> Poor Jonathan is being attacked by dogs. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dennis. No, I uh, now I, I I think that I can understand your example or what you were telling yeah, using because, those words. Yeah, because you know how the typical lie that when a woman is in, when a man is unfaithful, like let's say a man is married but he has a girlfriend, and he always tells that but it, that girlfriend, I love you, but I am only I don't love my wife. I am with her for the kids. That's a typical lie, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And which is very stupid. <laughs> but also women believe that, which is also very stupid. Too. So that's what I said. A man who says, I am only with her for the kids is a liar. Mm -hmm. And a woman who believes that is naive. Yeah. Okay. But don't confuse naive with stupid for example um sanchez said in he was stupid he was not naive <laughs> <laughs> no I that agree. yeah that that's that's uh, he is stupid is like siendo muy generoso <laughs> yeah what is naive naive is everybody is naive sometimes even if you say, no, I'm not stupid. Yeah, everybody's naive. Children are very naive. Yeah. You know. All right. Cool. So do you understand when you say that, when you use the, uh, wait, wait, why am I not sharing with you? So someone, a person who, uh, so. We well, can say someone, a person, a woman, a man, a child. Yes? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. All right, cool. So let's do the knowledge check. It says rewrite the sentence with reduced relative clause. Remember to use capital letters and periods. For example, anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Answer, anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Oh, no hicimos el gerund. Um... So we were doing anyone or a person who, let's do, uh, for example, a man who says, I'm with my wife for the kids. Okay, oye, I'm on gerund. Let me see, for okay. example, a man or a, a person running San Salvador people, a person running in in La Jerusalén, what is that person doing? What was the example? I'm sorry. Thank you. Do you know the La Jerusalén, El Espino, or Monseñor Romero Boulevard? Yes. I know Monseñor okay. Romero are, yeah. are all the same. I think no. they are all the same, porque yo no sé, yo me confundo con Espino, Jerusalén, El Monseñor Romero, todas son la misma. But every time you pass there, you see people running. So when you say a, a man running or a person running in Jerusalén is... Athletic. It's doing exercise. Okay. All right. Can you repeat that? So a man or a person running in La Jerusalén is doing exercise. A person running in La Campanera 
<laughs> is escaping. <laughs> it's escaping. But you understand that you buy a gerundio? Yes, teacher. I understand. All right, cool. So let's do the knowledge check. Someone who hopes to be a chef should get proper training. What is the correct? Should be someone hoping. Ah, ya está. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Instead of writing it, porque yo sé que va a salir mal en alguna porque. Someone who hopes to be a chef should get the proper training. So someone hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Anyone who wants to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Wanting. Yes, anyone wanting to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Aunque miren, personalmente, esto no está correcto. Sí, muy, muy informal. No existe wanting. I've seen that uh, while working, people from U.S., they, they take it like normal. Yes, it, it, yeah, they say wanting, but um, really it's not correct. Do you know why? Because you cannot see someone wanting something. Yes. Exactly. Remember when I told you guys that, that if you see the verb, it's an action verb. So it has ing. If you don't see the verb, there's no action. Number three, a person who works as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. Okay, the answer is a person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. People who are clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. People clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. Anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Someone responsible for a large staff has to be creative with scheduling. Good. Who works in San Salvador? I work but I home but Ilopango is part of San Salvador, I guess. Oh now it is here, <laughs> I think. Does anyone else work in San Salvador? Not me. No? No. Okay. Claudia, say me. Not me. I work in Nuevo Cuscatlán. The other town. <laughs> oh, Claudia in one. I was working in the Olympica, but I uh, moved us to Santa Elena. Okay. The reason why I'm telling you this is because this week is going to be hell. I recommend you to look at the schedules because you know those Panamericanos? A popular DJ will be there. I just saw the, the ad. Is it Marshmallow? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. No, pero miren, 
it's going to be very stupid. Do you know they're going to close toda la 49? Do you know yes. how do you know how crazy that 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 idea is? Yes. Yeah, lo que no saben la 49 es toda la calle que va de Metro Centro, quizás de la más importante en San Salvador. It's When is the event? It's this Friday. Uh my day off. Oh, good for you. Don't go out if it's not necessary. No, because... but I wanted to go to the dentist. Oh, yeah? No. Okay. In San Salvador? Close to Metro. Where? Mm, the, the place is in the back of Garcia Flamenco, I guess, is the, is the, the school. Mm-hmm. So is, it, is it orthostatic? No, it's it's Melara Martinez. Oh, okay. Melara Martinez clinic. Okay. But uh you you know I would recommend you to call Ronald call that day before because if la 49 is closed is by metro. Mm. So metro queda la 49. Uh, o sea, es que Si cierra esa calle, va a ser un caos en todo alrededor por la gente que va a tomar rutas alternas. You know? Yes. And actually, I think the, that uh, players uh, will be the other week, but the other Friday, no this, but need to finish the... No, but this, the, this Friday, this yes, they're going to close that street three days I think because this Friday is the inauguration next week um, I think in esa calle va a ser atletismo or bicicleta whatever va a ser una del escalón I don't know my, my yes. wife said wait let me see if I have the, let me see if I actually, have actually almost every um, I don't know polideportivo mm -hmm. because my mom I live the front for the polideportivo de Merleot. So the stop of bus, or no sé cómo se dice, punto de parada, el punto de bus. Bus stop. Uh, ajá, stop. Uh, don't uh, ask them then, then don't um, stop right there because the players will be in, in polideportivo and don't can no, can see the bus and actually they are around the street because the people who don't have parking in, in the street parking the the car no and actually say that don't can see the cars in the street. I don't know if you have understood me. Yeah, but okay. That's a but do, do you see the that, screen right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So look, hey, not only yeah. San Salvador, eh, hey, también Carretera Sonsonate. Boulevard of los Héroes. Imagínese desde la Juan Pablo hasta la Sisimi. Man, this, this is going to be a chaos. Autopista Norte. So we're going to have one week of terrible, terrible traffic in San Salvador. So you don't support the event? Honestly, if you really think about it, no, because El Salvador is not prepared for that. Because um, there's a difference that they are prepared for the infrastructure, but this, you see calles cerradas, this is going to affect traffic heavily. So, La Cuarentena um, Avenida Sur is one of the most important uh, yes. You know, Autopista Norte, Boulevard en Los Ceros, those are, those are the most frequent used, used, uh, used roads in San Salvador. 
and they're going to use that for the events. So, nope, El Salvador is not ready for this. But yeah, I, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to to share my opinion that after this edition, after these games, this organization is not gonna choose the El Salvador for for future games because aside from from what you mentioned, that is gonna be a a chaos. So I think that there is going to be more issue for, for the institution or for the athletes and stuff like that because, yeah, El Salvador is not prepared for this. Yeah, because if you notice, if you notice, they are only worrying about the athletes and the event, but they're not worrying about the people who have to work. <laughs> but if the, if the country is not ready now, it won't be ready in the future because the the country cannot be bigger, and so I don't think they will be able to host new games, as my peer said, because yes. the country cannot be bigger. No, but you, but you know what? I think it's is is disorganized. For example, look at Sa Sábado Uno de Julio, Atletismo Marathon. Really, do you need Boulevard de los Héroes to do that? No lo pueden llevar a la Litoral or something, pero no. Escojamos la calle más, más transitada del país y ahí cerrémosla. Boulevard de los Héroes, 49 Avenida Sur y Avenida Olímpica. Really, those are the only options they could think of for a marathon? That, that, that's what I, I don't understand. Atletismo en marcha, ciclismo, carretera San Sonate, ok. Litoral, ok. Maybe, I, 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 Patinaje, Boulevard de los Héroes en patinaje. No. They could do that in a stadium. Yeah, so I, I think this was not a good idea. That's if the one of July to seven July. For seven days, the country, the El Salvador, will be a chaos. Yes. For seven days. Mm hmm. And are those the, the only sports that they will be practicing or? No, I think, I yeah, no, I think there's more. Uh -huh. Yes, because the swimming. I but think. He, here's my question. Do you think the country cares about patinaje? Nobody cares. Ciclismo, nobody cares. We, El Salvador, Maratón, no, no. Who, I don't know. It's ciclismo. This is only important for the people who participate, but this is not important for like. Okay, honestly, have you ever watched ciclismo on ESPN? No, and we don't no. understand that. Yeah, who the hell is going to watch that? Hoy patinaje. Wow, mira que chivo patina. Okay. I mean, I know your your uh, point, but you know that these people they practice the no, same sports course. in different countries, so they won't cancel it just because no, of no, this no. country or people here don't care about it. No, no, I understand, but I think I think it's everywhere because tell me one famous pati patinador, pat pat patinador, sería skater. Tony Tell me, no, but he's like legend now, pero he's skateboard. <laughs> Tell me one fame, pero active, un ciclista famous right now, o un, o uno de atletismo marathon, a famous person? No, ni en Estados Unidos. I think it's only important for the people who participate there, like in the United States, in Mexico, so, you know, pero really, I don't know, but. I am angry because every day I go and take my wife. And do you know? Yes. Do you know how they choose the country? How they what? How they choose the host country? I don't know. I think I think they you have to volunteer the country, and then they have to investigate your country. Sista apta para. Well, so it's gonna be a the whole month uh, with that problem. 
Yes. You know, like like I told you, every day I work from home, but I have to take my wife to Los Isimiles. So every day I pass in front of that stupid Mexico Gonzalez Stadium. And we have to go at five in the morning. Porque es un solo un carril han hecho. O sea, le ha valido man. lo que digo, es la, la calle más transitada del país. Y le vale como no. What's important right now is que quede bonito el estadio. And when does her chief start? At eight. But my shift, my shift starts at seven. So I have to, uh, so we take like one hour just to, normally it would take 40 minutes for me to take her and come back. Now I take one hour only to pass the Bajico Gonzalez. So I take maybe an hour and a half to go and come back every day in the morning and in the afternoon. And can she work at home? No, she's a dentist. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I asked you, where are you going? Because she does work by Cisamilas. When you told me that you have to, you have to go um, orthostatic. She works there. So I'm like, maybe, maybe my wife is your doctor. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So and La Mara San Miguel, Angela, eh, Allison. You don't need to worry, man. Everything's good for you. I work for Lourdes, Colón. <laughs> yeah, but Lourdes will not be affected. Pero eso sí, Lourdes siempre es un caos, so. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It will be chaos because it, uh, some, some days the Jerusalem and the, and the, in and around the multiplaza will be closed. So everybody that ha has to take Los Chorros go for go to Santa Tecla or pass um, near Multiplaza. That's true. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. but, so uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I still I don't understand why they they need to a marathon. They need to take. It's like, um, bueno, Bert, no vives exactamente en San Miguel, San Miguel, but I do remember that La Roosevelt is very important, right? In San Miguel? Yes, it is. Can you imagine yes, they will close La Roosevelt every day for one week because va a haber maratón de punta a punta. Can you imagine that chaos? Yeah, actually, yeah, man. Uh, and personally, I think it it doesn't affect me either because I don't go off. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying. Can you imagine the the people that that yeah the that same live in San Miguel? The same because yeah, you're right. This could be a chaos if that happened here. Yeah, because I remember La La Ruspel is is very is I. De ahí va todo. Ahí empieza todo. I think right. All of, all of the city of San Miguel. Es de punta a punta la Roosevelt. Pero la vamos a cerrar porque va a haber maratón. Oh, God. You know, yeah. So in that case, I I don't think it's ready. Like in El Salvador, they have to close the Boulevard de los Héroes y la 49 avenidas. Oh, that's crazy. Hubieran, Saben que hubieran cerrado el centro. Y está bonito, está histórico. <laughs> Que vaya, denle cinco vueltas a la manzana y eso cuenta por. <laughs> denle cinco vueltas a la catedral, vaya, ahí va la maratón. <laughs> What will be funny is that it's going to rain heavy that day. I was so happy Saturday that it was raining. I was so happy, me quedo, yes, que sufra esa gente y que no salga ese estadio a tiempo por lo que, lo que sufrimos. Todos los días que pasamos ahí. <ríe> es que miren, uh, miren, yo les digo, yo paso, años tengo que pasar ahí, enfrente del Estadio Mágico González, y en dos años, ya está, la gente pensaba que estaba abandonado, estaba esa cosa, porque estaba feo. En un transcurso de tres semanas, le ha dado vuelta esa cosa. 
Pero se han vuelto locos. Um, a lot of money, ways. A lot that. of money, yes. Everything will be reconstructed or reconstruido. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, and, I don't understand why in no. three weeks they needed to wait. Oh my God, nos queda un mes. <laughs> They had two years to rebuild all that. I just remember when when I when I studied at the university, I always do that with my projects. What? The last oh yeah. The last week. Yeah, that's the typical Salvadorian, right? At the last minute. En español, <laughs> en español decimos a última hora. En inglés you say at the last minute. Oh, uh, the last minute. Yeah. Okay. So if they say at the last hour, no sorry of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we leave everything till the last minute. Okay, then. Um, well, then, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We'll continue yeah. tomorrow. Oh. Thank, thank you, teacher. This is what we do tomorrow. Good evening. Good night. Good, night. Good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Angela. Bye.